Good morning, team. Um, just wanted to check in real quick. I posted a little something this morning, um, and uh, just you know, it's been a been one of those mornings, and a lot of you have reached out and said that those are going to come, and I really don't know what's going to come out of this video right now because of uh, the overwhelming emotion that has been happening today. I just kind of wanted to touch on that and uh, just leave it with that because, uh, you know, we're here today and my little buddy, we got a new theme song uh, from an old commercial, My Buddy and Me, Wherever I Go, He Goes. Yeah, some of you remember that. Todd Thomas, I think you were in that commercial. If you're watching this video, I know you are following this, but uh, if you're watching this video, I know your sister probably is, Nicole. My Buddy and Me. I think you were in that anyway. Um, <clears throat> this morning was uh, one of those mornings that just kind of everything caught up. Um, you know, yesterday was a good day because we found out that it wasn't, uh, that this cancer hasn't traveled into um, any other major organs, but it is a little uh, more advanced than, than we thought, and that's okay. Because we know the plan of attack and it hasn't changed and it's just adding another surgeon, but we're okay with that too. Um, but the thing started hitting me last night when, you know, I'm sitting on the, <clears throat> the hospital bed getting my first round of chemo. And then uh, coming home with my bag and all this on my chest. And then having my baby girl. That just wants to cuddle me. She was only in right here. There's her man and her her bear. She's off to a commercial right now doing her thing. So with Aim and my mom. And, um, anyway, I'm trying to get through it. But um, she was scared to cuddle me last night. And uh, that just hit me hard, you know. She's my everything. And, you know, I know she's scared. I know that a lot of people are scared because, you know, there is an unknown to what could possibly happen here. But I'm pretty confident that we're going to get through this. We're, I'm very confident. This is just a bump in the road. And uh, I told you I was going to be vulnerable. I don't know if I'm going to post this just because I'm a babbling mess right now, but um, I just think that it's also important for um, <clears throat> people to see the other side of what strength looks like, too. Because I was told by a very close friend today that, you know, strength just isn't, isn't just uh, by showing power and, uh, you know, inspiration and that everything's okay. It's also being vulnerable and showing that a man could cry and be scared and all that. But it's how you handle those fears, right? We talked about it earlier this week. And uh, gosh. Anyway, I'll try to wrap this up, but. I'm facing my fears, and I'll be strong for my girls, but I also want them to know that daddy is scared too. And this ain't fun, you know, having that strapped to me for, for two days. But that thing's gonna save my life, and I'm okay with that. And I hope that, you know, Aubrey got up this morning after I had my moments for a couple hours, and she, looked over and told me that she loved me and she started asking questions about this thing and about what's all that and where's it going and what's it doing. We had a conversation and I was able to hold it together and get them out of the house so they can go have a day and I just felt like I needed to kind of document where I'm at right now because I don't get this way often, but I think it's important to show vulnerability too. Um, I love you guys. And Everything that you guys are doing for me by sharing things and sharing just your inspiration and, and your prayers and 
telling me that I got this and all the different different ways that you're reaching out and it just got a, brought a smile to my face one of my old college buddies a guy I haven't seen in 20 years Najat you're watching this I know you are from London a lot of my boys know who I'm talking about here but Najat man that video that you sent me this morning was awesome man you put a smile on my face and brightened it up but uh, sorry that I had to get back to this point but I just want to share this with you that you know as strong as I'm trying to be in show and, and you know, as strong as I am, I mean, I know that, that I'm going to pull through this and I know that I'm going to have my great days and I'm going to have some of these bad days. And hopefully this whole day doesn't consist of this because I don't like it, but I think it's important to talk about it and get it off my chest. And I know that Amy wants to be here right next to me and talk to me about this and we're going to talk about it all later and have our moments too. But she's, uh, She's being the best mom that she definitely is and can be by taking Ob's out to Hollywood today to, to do what Aubrey loves to do and, and all that. So, Amy, thank you for being a rock and being my support system and holding things together at the house and going to get me all the healthy foods and keeping the fridge stocked and making sure that I got food prepared. And God, I love you. You're, you're the best. Anyway. I love all you guys. I'm going to let it go now. It's been a lot longer than I thought. I don't know if I'm going to post this, but I just wanted to have it just in case I felt inclined to. Uh, but um, today's one of those days, and we'll uh, we'll get through it. Enjoy your Saturday, fam. Higher power out.